Hello everyone, Gabriel here, and today we are going to learn how to export to PDF, text, and XML file formats. After we have all of our batch being processed correctly, we just have to click on the export batch button. On here you can see we already have the default setting, which is a chronoscan PDF text into the file system. And if we take a look into the options here, we're going to see that chronoscan PDF text is just a PDF file with searchable text on. And into the file system, you can see here the folder to which the files are going to be exported. But let's say we don't want any of that. To add a new module, we can just click on that big plus sign here and we'll have this window right there. Up here, we can choose the conversion module or the format module and down here, the destination or export module. We have several options, but I'm just going to use the file system. And up here, I will start with the XML report. I will add it. And those are the options for the XML conversion. Most important ones, generation mode. I can make one XML per document, per page or per batch. Down here, I can change the field names, how they will show up on the XML file, and I can remove those spaces. And most important, the grid control modules. When you have grids on your documents, you probably want to export them. And to do that, you have to make sure that export X grid data is set to true right here. And then you can do the same kind of tweaking as you can do up here on those XML file options. After we click OK, we can now tweak the file system options, especially the output directory. And again, you can also choose which files to export. You can choose to export any files, any documents. You can export only documents with errors, or you can only export documents that are validated. On here, I'll just select any and then click OK. To add another one, I'll click on the big plus sign again. And now I will choose the TXT report and again into the file system. TXT is usually used for CSV files. What I will do, again, that's a very important option. I probably want one TXT per batch and export any documents. Down here, we can select the, the document fields that are going to be exported. And down here, I can choose to export the grid control once again. And for any module, we can actually add custom fields. They'll just name this one custom field one. And you have a few settings. You can choose the value to export and you have a very big selection of system and document and station variables to choose from. After I have everything I need here set up, I'll just click OK. And now again, the file system options, I will leave it as default and click OK. One important step here is you can change the extension to CSV already if you really want the extension to be there. I will click OK now. Now let's add the PDF module. I can choose either Chronoscan or I can choose the Nuance PDF text. I will just choose the Chronoscan PDF again to the file system and click on Add. Here I have some very important settings again. I might want one PDF per batch, per page or per document. And searchable text, usually you will want that on true. Down here you have color image compression. That's also very important. You can set it to something like 50, which is on the middle of minimum quality and maximum quality. And you also have some other options here. I'll just leave as default and click OK. And now here, file system again, I'll just click OK. And now we are ready to export. I will remove the default PDF module here using that remove button, selecting and removing. And then I'll click on export now. All of our modules will be run now and we just have to wait. 
we can now see the report here for each of our files and we can open the file or the folder as we want. And that's it guys. I hope you liked it and I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye bye.